Good morning, Merry Christmas. We have a lot to do today to get ready for the holiday. I've got some baking to do and friendly just went down for a nap. Also, I found the perfect knit PJ set from Old Navy, so I thought I would share. It's got these like loose, super high-waisted pants and then the matching knit top, which I think I'm gonna order in a size smaller because it's a little bit bigger than I thought. But they are super high-waisted and flowy and long. I'm 5'9 and they actually are long enough on me. I actually ordered the next size up in like a size tall. It's not here yet, but I, I'm not even gonna need it because the size small is long enough for me. Anyways, we have a fun surprise. Cam was supposed to be at work right now, but what happened this morning? Well, the Oregon roads are really icy. So, couldn't even leave our neighborhood and got stuck. Yeah, I think if I made it out of our neighborhood, I would have been good to the main road, but yeah, I put it in four low, try and get out of here. Just, truck didn't want me to go to work today, I guess. He slid into the curb and called me like 15 minutes Just after he it. left. <laughs> and he was stuck. He called me asking me to open the garage because he had to walk home from the end of our street. Like a half mile. It's freezing. <laughs> because his truck was stuck in the ice. So he's here with us this morning, which actually is a huge blessing because not only does he get to help me, but he can also help preoccupy Ren when she wakes up. But she is going to help us a little bit when we are working on baking and stuff. So we're going to make some mini cheesecakes and some rolls. They're both recipes that I found on Pinterest, so they are not mine. I'll link them down below. No idea how they're gonna turn out, but um, we're gonna give it a go. The first step in preparing these orange cranberry mini cheesecakes is to candy the cranberries. I'm starting off by zesting an orange, which I'll come back for in just a little bit. Over medium to low heat, I'm combining a half cup of water and one half cup of sugar. Then I'm stirring the sugar until it's mostly dissolved. just a little bit more water here because I used a larger saucepan than I originally thought I was going to and because I decided to candy more cranberries than I thought I was going to. Once the sugar is fully dissolved, I dumped in the frozen cranberries. I would have preferred to use fresh cranberries, but the store that I went to didn't have them. So I just had to cook these a little bit longer in the simple syrup for them to fully thaw. Once I felt they were fully thawed, I just tossed them around in the simple syrup until they were fully coated. After all the cranberries were fully coated in the simple syrup, I used a slotted spoon to scoop them out and place them on a rack. Preferably you'll have them 
all laid in one layer and not touching each other. But the rack that I had wasn't really ideal, so it was impossible to not let them all touch each other. I just tried to spread them out as much as I could. Once you have them all scooped out and drying, you let them be for one hour. After one hour had passed, I mixed another half cup of sugar with the orange that I had zested first and tossed those around. Following that, I used a tablespoon to scoop the crust mixture into the cupcake holders. use my fingers to push them down firmly. Pop them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. While they were in the oven, I started preparing the cream cheese mixture. First, I juiced some oranges. Because I chose to make four times the normal amount the recipe calls for, I needed eight tablespoons of orange juice. I 
also needed four tablespoons of orange zest. So now we're going to move on to the cream cheese filling part of the cream cheesecakes. I chose to make four times the recipe amount because we have a big family and we're going to two events that we're bringing these to. So I need four of these eight ounce packs of cream cheese. Okay, now I'm gonna just lightly mix these together to start off with. I'm gonna add in my orange juice, two cups of sugar, Eight tablespoons of sour cream. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. of cheesecakes are in the oven and the kitchen is atrocious now so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up and then once the cheesecakes are done cooking we'll make the whipped cream for the whipped cream topping I combined one cup of heavy whipping cream one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract I then used my hand mixer to whisk this together Once 
once it reached the texture that I was after, I placed it into a large gallon Ziploc bag. I didn't have anything to use to pipe the whipped topping onto my cheesecakes, so I worked with what I had. It didn't turn out super beautiful, but it did the trick. After the whipped cream, I topped each cheesecake with one candied cranberry. Taste test. It's really good. Mm -hmm. The crust is really good too. Mm. You really you want, want some? some? No, she just up. <laughs> What do you have to say? Next, I moved on to preparing the dinner rolls. Okay. I'm gonna start off by mixing my dry ingredients together. So I've got three cups of flour in this bowl. And in this bowl, I've already mixed together the other things, which is one and a half tablespoons of instant yeast, one quarter cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix these together. Next, I need to warm up my milk and uh, make sure my butter's soft enough. And then I'm gonna add those things in as well. Okay, I heated my milk up on the stove top. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. It's just a cup and one quarter of warmed milk. And then I'm gonna also add in four tablespoons of softened butter. And one room temperature egg. I don't have a stand mixer, so I'm gonna have to just mix this by hand. I'm going to add in half a cup more of flour. Then I covered the dough in a lightly greased bowl and let it sit and rise for 30 minutes. Once 30 minutes had passed, I pinched off equal sized pieces of the dough and rolled them into balls to form the rolls. I placed them in a lightly greased pan, covered it with a towel, and let it sit and rise for another 30 minutes.
let these sit for a while longer. I moved them to a smaller, um, a smaller pan, and now I'm gonna pop them in the oven. I placed them in the oven and baked them at 375 degrees for 15 minutes. They aren't the most beautiful rolls that ever were, but hopefully they still taste good. The very last thing I wanted to take care of tonight was just to put Renly's stocking together because we're probably going to get home kind of late tomorrow and I just want it to be ready for Christmas morning. So here's her little stocking. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got her and let's put it together too. Okay, so probably the first thing that I'm going to put in there to shove in kind of the bottom is something kind of basic. It's just a bunch of little hair ties because she's got pretty long hair and she wears it up quite a bit and the other ones that we had broke often. So I got her some more of those. Hopefully these ones won't break as much. And then I think I want to put something kind of big in to take up some more space. So just got her a thing of puffs since she loves these. Put those in. Okay. Next I think I'm going to slide in one of the teething toys I got her. They're just like these little teething bracelets from Mushy, which is nice because I can throw them around my wrist and then um, have them handy for when she needs something to chew on or play with. And they're super cute. They're like scalloped to look like little flowers. So we'll put those in there next. Next we'll do another big item, which I just got her a little straw hydro flask. She's starting to learn how to drink out of a straw and she's able to have water now. Uh, a friend of mine has one of these for her kid and she said it's he has an easier time drinking out of it because the straw is wider. Next. <laughs> it's looking like not everything I got is gonna fit because of the big things, but that's okay, we'll make it work. Okay. Next, I got her some little clip-in bows that were super cute because she wears her hair in pigtails and ponytails a lot. And she doesn't tolerate like the headband bows that well anymore. She always is pulling at them. So I got these little ones to clip on her little pigtails or ponytail, and she actually leaves them alone pretty good. So stick those in there. Another little pack of bows. Up next, I got her just these little silicone tie things. Basically, you can like clip toys with them. You can wrap it around the toy and then wrap it around like a high chair or a car seat or something. She is always throwing things now and so they end up on the ground so i think this will just help that and also she loves to chew on things that are like this shape like she's always grabbing people's um drawstrings so i thought if nothing else she'd even just like to chew on them because of how they're shaped so got like a four pack of those and then lastly i got her another little teether it's from mushy as well and it's just shaped like a flower and these little things pop back and forth which will be fun for her as well so we'll see if we can get this to fit in there okay i think it'll be cute to have it sticking out the top anyways so that she sees it and is like kind of intrigued i know she mostly won't know what's going on but she might be interested in pulling stuff out of here okay here is the final product. I'm so excited for Christmas morning with her. I know she's not gonna really know what's going on and she won't remember anything, but I just feel like it's gonna be so much more fun with a baby. I love Christmas anyways, so it's gonna be a blast. I'm so excited. Well, today I feel like has truly evaporated. It is now like eight o'clock at night and I need to start getting ready for bed to try and get some sleep before tomorrow, get this video editing and get it posted. If you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope that you were able to get ready for Christmas right alongside me. And I hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas and just the best times hanging out with family. <music>